to the continuing lesson on perpendicular bisectors. In the previous video, we saw a proof of the perpendicular bisector theorem. And in this video, we are going to discuss um, the converse of that theorem. And so again, some of these theorems that they get as they get more complicated, just to be able to articulate them and draw a picture that represents them is I think half of the battle. So let's look at what this theorem says. In a plane, if a point is equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, then it is on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. Okay. So let me use a different uh, color pen here because that always makes things more interesting. All right, so first let's start with a line segment. So let's say that I have uh, some line segment here. And we'll call this line segment AB. And then it says if a point is equidistant from the endpoint, so let's say I have some other point here, P, okay, and I'm drawing in these dotted lines because we don't know that you know we need to yet, but we know that if okay, AP, line segment AP is congruent to line segment BP, then we can conclude that the perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector of AB goes through P. In other words, then you must have some line here, okay, so we'll call this point here C, and then uh, what we're really saying is that PC, line PC is perpendicular to AB, and AC is congruent to BC. Now, this uh, we are not necessarily going to prove too early on because this is not an easy proof to do. So this is a, a tough proof. So we're just going to leave it here for right now, which is something that I don't like to do at all. I hate using that phrase, leave it here. But um, we're not going to abandon this altogether. We will, uh, we will prove this later. We'll prove this. We'll complete this proof later, but we want, I want to show you that there, there is a converse to this, and uh, it can be very useful sometimes. Okay. All right, now let's look at a couple more definitions here. This says that when three or more lines are rays or segments intersect the same point, they are called congruent, or not congruent, I'm sorry, concurrent line rays or segments, the point of intersection is called the point of concurrency. Okay, So one of the key parts here is that it's got to have three. All right? So for example, if I have a line here, this is line one, and then I have another line here, this is line two, Okay, and clearly they intersect. Well, this right now, this is not the point of concurrency, this is the point of intersection. Okay. So intersection can be two or three or four or five. But for it to be uh, a concurrent point, there has to be at least three lines that go through this. Okay, so this is P. So P is the point of concurrency for L1, L2, and L3. Okay. And uh, that's about it uh, for this video. Uh, we just looked at briefly the, uh, the converse of the perpendicular bisector theorem. And then we looked at a quick definition here. And again, it's very essential that you internalize this. Maybe you, know, you cover this up and you try to test yourself and see if you can remember what this was saying. Okay? And only then will you really be able to fully understand um, and, make, and be confident that you know um, and you're prepared uh, for all of these types of problems. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to watch the next and uh, uh, next couple videos here to complete the lesson. Have a wonderful.